the biggest Cinco de Mayo party is right here in our city. It's happening this Saturday, May 5th, at one of the best restaurants in town. It's called Barro Restaurant. Joining us now is celebrity executive chef Steve Gonzalez. Good to see you again. Nice to see you, too. You know, I'm a huge fan from Top Chef Canada. Thanks. I loved you then. I still love you now. You were on the current season. They were all over at your restaurant. Yeah, we were at up Barrow. A storm. At Barrow. We were doing a Mexican fiesta. Okay, and you're doing it this Saturday. And we're doing it this Saturday. So Cinco de Mayo action. This is an example of what everybody will be feasting on. Mm -hmm. And you are so about local, local, local when it comes to all your ingredients. As much as possible, I definitely uh, try to get some local product in the restaurant. This is right up my alley. It's a beautiful ceviche, so yeah. colorful. What's so in it? This is our cappuccino. We'll get it. We'll get started on okay. that. Let's do it. So I, uh, I marinated some calamari shrimp and scallops okay. this last night. What's inside the uh, marinade? So the marinade is uh, basically tomato juice. And Valentina's hot sauce. Okay. There is some onion, garlic, cilantro, and chilies in there. So on a hot scale, what are we talking? One to ten. Uh, this is probably like a, a five, six. Okay. It's not that crazy. And how long do you leave it overnight? In so the again, fridge? this one, this in this particular style, it's best to leave it for overnight or at least a couple hours to really let the flavors absorb, right? Yeah. So we have some uh, red onion. Okay. We have some uh, radish. And it's and, simple and but celery. clean flavors. Yeah. It's so simple, and it, and honestly, it's basically raw. So, you, but the uh, marinade helps to cure it, right? Exactly. The citrus uh, basically cooks the proteins and it gives it the, the kind of idea of being cooked, right? And it's so interesting because oftentimes people uh, might equate it with like heavier food, but you have so many light, beautiful options. You have gorgeous spring salads. And exactly. Even vegan bowls, we right? We have radishes right now. They're in season, you know, yeah. some fresh avocado. You've got it all. So this is the lighter fare that maybe you want to start off your meal with. Just exactly. get the palate going. Yeah. You've got the avocado. When we do it at the restaurant, we definitely uh, recommend to start with the ceviches. Okay. Just to get uh, get your dinner and going. And I'm going right? to say this. I used to shy away from any sort of like raw fish. This is the best introductory because it tastes cooked. It doesn't taste. There's no fishy smell. Exactly. Right. So this is a great way to do it. If we if put you a little bit of salsa in here, just to. So fresh tomatoes. Yeah. Cilantro. Onions. Cilantro. Uh, lime juice and a little something we call Latino five spice. Okay. Right. And then what is this? This is beautiful. So that's our what we call uh, uh, olive dust. So this is basically just dehydrated olives. No way. That we kind of uh, chop down, and I give this and I put this in here just for a little umami. Yeah, kind yeah. Of a little, little like extra a seaweed, salt. Uh, exactly. Crunch texture. A little bit of citrus. Lemon lime doesn't yeah. matter. And this is lime juice in this case, right? And then it's ready to go just like that. It's ready to go. Then we we scoop it up. Right into my mouth. Yes. And you guys are located on Queen, uh, King. Yeah, 485 King Street West. Three floors. Three floors. Uh, fourth floor coming. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a rooftop patio on there. Oh my gosh, that's so brilliant. More Latin flair. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we put a little bit of uh, this garnish here. Some cilantro, some radish, that's some flowers. Beautiful. Right? It's all about the finishing. And then we details. finish it with some. Salty, salt and crackers. You're not going to believe this. We are out of time, but I need you to talk about that while I eat that. Okay, why don't you what do is this on this chef? side? So this is our nachos. Okay. Right. So how do you how do you do them? So basically, style? we we uh, get out of your way. We have our mm. sauce, our uh, meat sauce oh here. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Meat sauce. Yeah. Some some fresh tortillas that we cooked off. Okay. A little bit more of the meat sauce. Like chef, this is so good. It's what is it? Shrimp and scallops. Those in here? are shrimp, scallops, and calamari. Mm -hmm. Right? They were they were uh, cooked ahead of time and marinated overnight. There's cinco de mayo happening in my mouth right now. <laughs> a little party. bit of the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. And this is invited. Right. A little what kind bit. of cheese do you use? This case, it's a cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. and we put a little bit of uh, uh, ají amarillo. And it's basically a bechamel with cheese. Beautiful. Yeah, and a little bit of pickled jalapenos that we did in house. Oh, you did, huh? Yeah. I can smell the brine on that. That's beautiful. Yeah, we do big batches of it. We kind of garnish the restaurant with it. Chef, congrats. You guys are constantly getting acclaimed for having such a beautiful, ever changing, localized menu. Freshness is your number one priority, and it comes through the love in your food. Keep it up. You do our city proud. Guys, go celebrate Cinco de Mayo. The party's happening this Saturday. Go to Barrow Restaurant on King Street West. Check it out, Barrow Toronto. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Peace.